Mrs. Farber's friends. Good to see you all. I'm back today with part two of Chester called Chester's Back by Melanie Watt. Hope you enjoy it. Chester's Back, star author, not a Melanie Watt book. Chester, dear admirers, due to an overwhelming amount of fan mail, I, Chester, am back with an amazing, brilliant, smart, super new book, C, by Chester. Dear readers, please forgive Chester. He's forgotten to mention that he wrote all those fan letters himself. M.W. Melanie Watt. To Chester from Shakespeare, your number one fan. To Chester from Einstein. To Chester from Picasso, your biggest fan. For my sister Valerie, who is much nicer than me, but more importantly, I would like to thank Chester the star of this book, for being kind enough to take time off from his busy schedule to be in this sequel. I owe him big time. Chester's back. There's his star door. Chester's butler. <laughs> I wonder if that's for Mouse. Written and illustrated by Melanie Watts, Hero. A long time ago, in a faraway land, lived a cat named Chester. I said, a long time ago, in a faraway land, lived a cat named Chester. Not ready yet! A long time ago, Chester, not that long ago, boring, cave cat take over, ooga chugga, ooga chugga. A long, 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 long time ago, in a faraway cave, lived Chester. He was famous. He invented the wheel. Chester's invention. Little did the cave cat know that soon he would become extinct. <sighs> oh no, extinct means that you aren't living anymore. Now, Chester, let's try this again. A long time ago in a faraway land lived a Stinky dinosaur in need of a major breath mint. Chester, get out from behind there. Nope, this side looks way better. Chester, cut it out. If you say so. Ladies and gentlemen, I, the great Chester Deedy, will now attempt to saw this boring drawing in half. Chester! Don't do it! Meet Melanie, the bearded lady. Kaboom! <laughs> That's it, Chester. No more clowning around. It's time for your disappearing act. Open auditions. On next page, Melanie Watt seeks replacement to play the role of Chester. An audition is when you try out. See if you're right for the job. Oh my goodness. Look at all the people who want his job. Number one. 
Please step into the story. Pfft, bunch of copycats. <laughs> My goodness, there's a cow, a flamingo, even an elephant. Take five. A long time ago, in a faraway land, lived a cat named Chester. Wait a minute. Chester, step away from the new Chester. Can you see him there? <laughs> He's giving him bunny ears. Ooh, that must have been where he sawed the picture in half. This page ain't big enough for the both of us. Dun dun dun. That's what a cowboy would say. I'm out of here! Oink, 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 oink. Chester, I give up. What do you want? Oh, glad you asked. I want a story that takes place in a limousine. I want giant billboards with my face on them all over the city. He's unbelievable. And since I'm very famous, I demand jelly beans, but only the red ones. And, oh yes, my name written in lights. And when I arrive on the red carpet, I want everyone to see I'm a big star. Is that it? Mm, and a bell so that I can ring for mouse anytime I need something. Fine, Chester. Hmm, make that Sir Chester. Okay, sir, you asked for it. Not long ago, in a big city somewhere, a very famous cat named Sir Chester arrived in a long, long, long limousine filled with red jelly beans. Everybody was excited to see... He is now arriving, Sir Chester. Look at the big billboards. The big star! Sir Chester turns heads in funny looking star outfit. That's not what I had in mind. <laughs> Wanted. Famous cat seeks talented creator to replace Melanie Watt for next picture book. Reward? 500 gazillion red jelly beans. <laughs> oh, that Chester. Boy, oh boy. He is so funny. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again next time.